Hello, welcome to your percent equation video. This is another way of solving percent problems. The first way was writing a proportion, which you've learned about already. And now we're going to take it and write it as an equation. Your I can statement, which you need to write down on your paper, is I can write and solve equations that involve percents. Your one and only question for today is how do I write percent equations? That's going to go on the left hand side and then on the right hand side you're going to have these four problems. Make sure you're writing down these questions and their answers. The first one, what is 85% of 62? So we want to find the important words first. Is in math is our equal sign and of is multiplying so that makes it easy and then we always want to turn our percent into a decimal. So you back it up, back it up you get 0.85. Okay, so our equation of what is, that's what we're trying to find, that's our variable, equals 0 0.85 times 62. This makes for some easy math because the variable's already by itself, which is what we want. So now we just have to simplify what we see over here on the right side. So I'm just going to type in my calculator, 0 0.85 times 62, and I get an answer of 52.7. And then I want to check to make sure, does that make sense? Would 53, approximately, be 85% of 62? Yeah, probably. It's more than half, so we're in the right direction. Question number two. What percent of 40 is 6? So again, we're going to want to write our equation, figuring out um, our important words here. So what percent, okay, that's what we don't know. We're trying to find that. Of 40, so we're going to multiply it by 40, because of is multiplying. Is means equals, so equals 6. So our equation is x times 40 equals 6. And we, in order to get x by itself, we're going to undo that 40 by division. So we're going to divide. x equals 6 divided by 40. You can use your calculator for that. When you get an answer, it's 0.15. You could also just simplify the fraction. And if you divide by 2, you would get 3 20th. Okay? Either way is fine. But what you need to pay attention to is that the question is asking for a percent. Right now we just have a decimal. So we're going to need to move it, move it, and get an answer of 15%. Or, like I said, you could have simplified the fraction and gotten 3 20th. If that was the case, to get to 100%, because uh, percent is out of 100, you would have multiplied by 5 and that would still give you the same answer. So there's two options there for really the same problem. It's just whatever seems to make more sense to you. Question number three, six is 15% of what? Again, pick out the important words. Six is means equals. Here we have a percent, so we wanna um, back it up, back it up. We get 0 0.15. Of means multiplying, and then what? Well, we don't know what that is, so that's our variable. So now I have my equation. I want to get x by itself. It's attached by multiplication, so to undo it, I need to divide by 0 0.15, and we have to do that on both sides. Here we're definitely going to need a calculator because it's really hard... Um, really difficult to take 6 divided by 15 hundredths um, without 1. So when you do that, you get an answer of 40 equals x. And then it says of what? So we're talking about a number. 6 is 15% of 40. And we want to make sure that 40 makes sense. 6, of, six out of your 40, that would be about 15%. Halfway would be 20. Um, and then we're, we're talking about 15, so that's even more, less, way less than half. So we're definitely on the right track with that problem. Estimating is always a good way to check 
to make sure that you have your right answer. Number four, a real estate agent received a $7,000 commission for a sale of $175,000. Find the percent of commission. So with word problems, it gets a little bit trickier, but you do want to find your total. In this case, the total is what she received, which was $7,000. So that's my total. Okay, what made up that total? Well, it was this percent of what she had. So it's my percent of means multiplying of that original amount. And that kind of goes back to percent of a number stuff. You want to know the percent of 175,000 and your of is there also um, to kind of help you with that because it's taking the percent of the total sale. So now that I have my equation, I'm going to unattach the 1,070, I cannot say this word, $175,000. In order to unattach that multiplication, we need to divide. And we have to do that on both sides. X equals, again, use your calculator for this. You take 7,000 and divide it by 175,000, and you will get an answer of 0 0.04 in your calculator. Now, again, you need to know what the question is asking. It says, find the percent commission. So we're talking about percent. You need to move it, move it. So your final answer is actually 4%. They received 4% commission. All right, your turn. Please make sure you write the equation and then solve. I know there are other ways of solving and finding the answer, but we're really practicing being able to write the equation for them, so that's really important. When you have all of your equations and answers, go ahead and turn this video back on so you can check to see how you did. All right, here are your answers. To number one, you have the equation x equals 0 0.20 times 250, and then you just plug that in in your calculator since x is already by itself, you get an answer of 50. If you got that right, star it. If you got it wrong, circle it. Number two, 46%, you write that as a decimal of means multiplying. What number is what we don't know is means equals, and 23 is just 23. In order to get x by itself, you have to divide by that decimal on both sides. And when you do that, you get an answer of 50. You do want to kind of self-check. 46% is really close to 50. So 50% 50 of what number is 23? So 50% would be double that because you, your part, your piece is 23. So if you double that, you would be at 46. So and um, you want 46%, so just about 50%. So our answer of 50 does make sense. And last but not least, number 3, 15 equals x times 25. To get x by itself, you have to divide by 25 on both sides. When you do that, you get a decimal for an answer. However, it's asking for percent, so you have to move it, move it. You get 60% for your answer. And then, again, you want to self-check. 15 is what percent of 25? So my fraction is 15 out of 25, and that would be over half because 12.5 would be 50%. So it's a little bit over, so my answer makes sense. I just want to back up for one second and talk about checking for number one. When you check for this one, um, a really nice rule is the 10% rule, which we talked about. So 10% of the 250 means I move that decimal point one. So 10% would be 25. So if I wanted 20%, that's two 10%. 10% plus 10% gives me 20%. So I need to take 25 plus 25, that gives me 50. So 20%, I know my answer has to be 50 just by self-checking. Why is the number six so scared of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. 
There's your math joke for you. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.